guys how are you nerd squad here today uh, i'm back and uh, just yeah just give me one second let me turn down the volume a bit yes so as there's a new problem with the shield that when you connect with your pc on uh, like when you go your settings and there's option in storage and reset where you can uh, use uh, your shield's hard drive and connect it to your computer via your network so and it keeps disconnecting or it's not showing up on your network or yes so for that one I have a better solution for you guys for that you guys need to download ES File Explorer you press OK when you do that uh, you guys need to go to bottom in not until it's just one second sorry my bad yeah you guys need to go to settings in the bottom there will be a, a tool settings and it will say windows setting when you it says windows setting you press it set the default window then here you guys click add to default windows so in windows you can choose your path whatever you guys like if it's SD card or directly to the place you guys are downloading or you could just leave it to download or if you leave it at home that's better because it will show you all the directories so you can f use all the directories to your system when you done that you add it you guys go to network when you guys go to network there is a place called uh, net manager no, sorry not a uh, remote manager in remote manager you press this one it will say uh, oh my bad sorry turn on and turn off when it says turn on it says turn on you can go to your PC and uh, if you put that um, IP it will directly uh, let you go to the uh, if you open in your browser and will go to the folder so you can access it but if you go to my computers and add a network location there one you press next choose a custom network put the IP here and um, that's it you guys will be able to access it you link it so that way you, it will a lot easier and you can download the data far easier and it's much stabler than the Plex Media Server or the user mode manager or sorry, the over lo a local network uh, connection between your shield. Or there's one more way. You can connect your shield to your PC. For that one, you guys need to do is because uh, if you have a micro SD port, uh, there is a, like a um, USB port. If you directly do that with your shield, uh, Pro one, it won't work. It only works with if you have the uh, Shield 16 GB version, so you can directly connect with your you know, computer. And that pole will be used just for your computer. You won't be able to use that pole for different person uh, purposes unless you have a USB hub. You can plug it to other ports, so you get an extra options. Sorry, yeah. To do that one, you guys need to get the extra uh, the micro. There's a micro uh, USB port. Uh, in the shield uh, 500 GB you plug that one and you plug that one that cable to your computer directly it will work fine it will come up on your network let me show you how it's done um, yeah yes. as you can see I've already had a cable so we just need to plug it in it will show up as you can see you can use that but the problem with this one is it's not stable it won't work for that long and um, i will say it's better to stay with the uh, es file explorer ftp server that is more much better a lot easier you guys don't need to do loads of setup it's just simpler anyways guys have fun take care